Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is maybe a third installment on a software I use called Boxit. And if you'd like more information on Boxit and Laser Jumpstart, you can go to their go to my very first video on it. But I thought I'd it's kind of a cold and damp day here in Central Texas, so I thought I'd make this clock. And I never had used the pedestal. Uh, box it part section before and it came out pretty good and I thought you know making it I'm just gonna put the box it logo on it and kind of make it funny but it, it's really easy to make uh, it's maybe a little bit more difficult than just a standard box but you know I cut out the back and that's one thing neat about box it you can see I can engrave anything I want on it I could put the center hole for the clock I could this is this is the front and this is the back so I was able to cut a big hole in the back um, so it would I could get to the clock parts and and then I actually put a hanger on the back to hang it but it's got, got the four sides and as I said in another video the uh, you're tilting this at an angle but I was able to get real tight joints and uh, I actually ran them a little long. I made my, I acted like my material was thicker. So it actually made the tabs longer so I could sand them off at an angle. And uh, it fit together real well. And just thought I'd show this. There's another box clock I made years ago with the just plain box it. Here I put a little 80 degree slope on it. So it kind of like stands off off the wall a little better. And yes, I make clocks. I've made maybe 300 clocks but what I thought I'd show real quick is go ahead and just show uh, how to use this pedestal because I never had used it much myself so there's your regular box it here's pedestal and a little bit different than box it you don't have to start off with a square you just have to start filling in these dimensions so we want it square so we want the three by three we want it one inch tall let's say our material is 1 8 our kerf is set good at 0 0.004 our tab width is 25 which is a quarter of inch so we're going to more tabs but then I never had played with this before you could change the slope from so I'm going to just leave this at 80 we're going to have a bottom we're going to have a top and then you just hit go and box it's going to draw it out or pedestal I guess so here's your top here's your bottom because it's going to be bigger and you can see always that there's two of these that are identical and then two of these that are identical so the joints overlap when they come in at an 80 degree angle so let's just let's do this let's look at the difference between an 80 degree angle now let's change this to a 45 degree angle and it's telling us our final length and width is going to be five inches off of our three. That might be, that's a pretty sharp angle, but you can see how the bottom of the box now is quite a bit bigger than the top of the box. This is going to make it a little bit more difficult. Uh, you know, cause you've got to, when you're trying to put these finger joints together and when you come in at an angle, you're going to have something at an angle. I don't care how you do it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the program it's just that the the deal of the wood so in that case I would make your tabs longer so let's just back up here for a second go to back down to pedestal and let's make our tab 0.25 well 0 0.2 0 0.25 would be too much and let's don't do it at a 45 let's do it this time at a 75 degree angle it telling you your final width so there you go. So your tabs are longer than they need to be on all four sides. But that way, though, when they stick through at an angle, you could take a random orbital sander and sand them off clean like I did in this picture. And that looks like it was machined that way. Anyway, I'm going to cut this video short because I, I really want to get into making this, the keyhole slot. 
but I'm going to try to keep my videos a little shorter. Send, uh, so please watch that too. And hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.